The police on Friday have confirmed eight of their personnel and a civilian were killed in a robbery attack in Nigeria's north-central Kogi state. Police Public Relations Officer William Ayer said a gang of 25 armed robbers stormed the bank and the police station at Itsanlu, a town in the Kogi state, on Thursday evening. He said the police have deployed a team of operatives, including special anti-robbery squad and counter-terrorism unit, to the town to commence an investigation. Yahaya Bello, the governor of the state, asked the police to fish out the perpetrators. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamedou Adamu, has ordered a full-scale manhunt for the perpetrators of the attack on the Insanlu police station and the commercial bank in Yagba East local government area of Kogi State on Thursday, June 4. The IGP also deployed a team of crack detectives from the Intelligence Response Team, Special Tactical Squad and Federal SARS to Kogi State to ensure that the criminals are apprehended and brought to book. In a statement by the Force Public Relations Officer, Frank Kumba, Adamo also directed the Assistant Inspector General AIG of Police in charge of Zone 8 Police Headquarters, Lokoja, AIG, Yunana, Babas, to immediately assess and review the security arrangement in Kogi State and its environment to prevent any future occurrence of such incidents in the state. To give us more perspective on this attack and its implications, we have a security expert, Colonel Ola Maje Yogbe, retired. Thanks for joining us, Colonel. Yes, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. What is your reaction to this particular attack in Kogi State? I think the attack took place uh, because of reasons that have always been on the ground. What do I mean by that? Uh, the circumstances that necessitated the attack have always been there. Nigeria is very severely under police. So what you find is that there are unacceptable gaps in the arrangement for physical security in Nigeria. Now, the robbers who went to carry out the attack they certainly must have done their reconnaissance. What does that mean? That means that they chose the bank after studying the area. And they also found out that that police station is the one most likely to react. So you will find they killed more people in the police than at the bank. They have nothing against the police, but they knew that the police is the only agency that can react in that area. So they made sure that nobody will be able to stop them, nobody will be able to go after them in hot pursuit. But the background to this, I think we should look at, look at Briefly, Conola, the pandemic how endangered? Of yes, let me interject, Conola. How endangered can our police men and women be in a country where gun carrying is prohibited? But we see a proliferation of arms and light weapons all around. That's an excellent point to make. Uh, incidentally, I work with the presidential committee on. Uh, light arms and small weapons. The number of weapons in the hands of criminals in Nigeria is unacceptably high. There are cities in Nigeria, particularly in the Niger Delta area, where you have enough weapons in the hands of criminals to arm a battalion meaning that there are cities which have up to 1,000 rifles in the hands of criminals. Now, since the number of policemen are already inadequate, you will find that the police will always be sitting dogs. I hear people say, that we don't have enough policemen 
because it will be very expensive to, ha to hire the number of policemen that the United Nations recommends. Good. So if anyone believes that you cannot afford the number of policemen that should police 200 million people, this kind of incident is what you get. In other words, there are just not enough policemen to garrison the nation. What does that mean? Um, there are huge gaps in places that are ungoverned. So criminals have places to hide. They have large places where you don't have any police stations or any security agencies. Kanola, in, in, the light, in the light of all of this, in the light of all of this you're listing out now, what, what do you advise to curb this shade of insecurity that is armed robbers, armed robbery attacks on police stations, banks, and even banditry in general? What would you recommend and what are your advice? But the first point I want to make may sound um, ordinary, but it is this. I am shocked that communication between elements of the police is just totally inadequate. Now, what do I mean by that? If you travel from Lagos going towards um, Edo State and then on to Abuja, on a good day, you are going to find many police checkpoints. What will surprise you is that those police stations do not have any means of communication with one another, meaning that if a checkpoint is attacked, they have no means of alerting those who are ahead. Point number one. Point number two, you just have to recruit and train more policemen. Now, uh, number three, there has to be better synergy between the various security organizations. The police is the primary agency for crime prevention, maintenance of law and order. Colonel Hello. Major Oyogbe, it's been a pleasure having you join us on the news. Thank you for your contribution, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you.